Now, most of East Texans saw a break in the rainfall today. This week's torrential, and I do mean torrential downpours, have caused serious flooding damage in East Texas, with one area experiencing severe damage because of all the rain we've had. KTK's Frank Jefferson spent the day in Palestine and tells us how they're dealing with everything. Here at the Palestine Wastewater Plant, they're having a growing problem. It, it has not stopped. It is ongoing right now. Monday morning, rainfall caused a sewer main to break, leading to more than 2 million gallons of wastewater to be spilled. City leaders are working to find the best way to fix this problem. None of us want to go through, but we're dealing with it as fast and efficiently as we possibly can. Palestine's flooding issues don't stop at the wastewater spill because city leaders are seeing some of the same problems that are happening in Grapeland Salmon Lake Park happening here at Wolf Creek Lake. Uh, we actually had a area of the dam that gave way uh, and we noticed it uh, yesterday. With huge boulders at the bottom of the waterfall, that section of the park is closed off to the public and city leaders have a plan to get it back to normal. Texas Water Development Board to try to get some grants through them to try and repair our dams. Repairing Wolf Creek's dam and the wastewater plant to help the people of Palestine overcome the effects of the storm. Frank Jefferson, KETK News. And there's more this year. You can see more heavy rainfall the next couple of days. And you know what? More trouble there with flooding. The good news is the Palestinian leaders told us this. Everything should be fixed by tomorrow.